How's it going you guys? In this video I'm going to show you a really easy way to create an awesome dark saber effect in Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, no problem. I have a free download for a dark saber effect that I made that you can add into your photos. Easy peasy. So all this Darksaber action in Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett has given me the itch to do some really cool Darksaber toy photography. And at first glance, creating a Darksaber in Photoshop sounds kind of uh, complicated and hard, but it's really not that hard. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And like I said before, if you don't have Photoshop, I have a free download link in the description of this video for the Darksaber PNG file effect that you can use in your photos and whatever editing software you use. So click the link in the description, download the file, and use it however you'd like. At the end of the video I'll walk through a little bit of that as well. But first let's just see how we can make it ourselves in Photoshop. Okay so I went out and I took this quick photo of Mando outside gloriously holding his dark saber and when I took the photo I held my Loom Cube Panel Pro above Mando so then it looks like there's some kind of light coming from where the dark saber will be just to try to add to the realism of the photo. And also, before I actually show you, a lot of the elements I'll be doing in this video are the same exact elements that I do in my normal lightsaber tutorial. So check out that video if you'd like to see that as well. So first, what we're going to do with our photo is we're going to create a new layer. By the way, what I used for this is literally just a cut up Stormtrooper Black Series blaster that I cut off. That's all I'm using for the lightsaber hilt because I didn't have one. So first we're going to go to our brush tool, make sure the opacity is at 100, make sure the hardness is all the way up, and then bring it to a pretty small brush. And we're going to make one click right here on the edge of the hilt, and we're going to hold shift to create a line over here. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side, and we're basically going to just make a shape of the Darksaber. There we go. That's pretty good, right? That looks like about the shape of it. So make sure you make another line down here to close up the shape that we're making. And so we're going to fill this in with white. So a good way to fill it in, you can, there's a lot of different ways. You could color it in with the brush, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the inside with the magic wand tool and do shift backspace, then make the contents as white. And so now we have the basic shape of the dark saber. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually duplicate this layer by doing control J. And now we have two different layers of the dark saber shape. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's do it at about 10. Then we're going to go to the, the next layer and go to filter, Gaussian blur, 40. And there we go. Now we're getting some, some real brightness going on. Now that we have that, we're going to create another new layer. Control shift N is a quick way to do that. And we're going to do the same exact thing again, but we're going to do it in black and a little bit smaller. Hold shift, hold shift. And there we go. Now it's starting to look more and more like a dark saber, not too bad. So with this layer, we're going to do basically the same thing again. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then instead of doing 40, let's do something like 5. We're almost there. Looks pretty good. So the only thing left we have to do on the dark saber is to get those cool little distortion line thingies in there. So we're going to create another new layer, Control shift n we're going to use our brush tool in white and we're going to change the thickness to something really small like a four and we're just going to just draw some lines so click hold shift to draw a straight line just like we've been doing before and just do as much as you want to do See, now that we have all of our squiggly lines over here, we're going to do the same thing again. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then just do it a little bit. Five is probably good. And now we're basically, we basically have a dark saber. Looks pretty good. So there's one final little finishing touch I'm going to add in here. 
and we're gonna combine all of these lightsaber layers that we have. So highlight them all, go over here and do merge layers. So now we're just gonna go with filter, render, lens flare, and we're going to just select right in the bottom of the lightsaber, of the dark saber, sorry. I like to do this one, the 105 millimeter prime, make it pretty bright. Boom. And so what that did is that kind of made this nice little fade up into it. And since we're only on the lightsaber layer, it only added that fade on the lightsaber, nowhere else. And if you wanted to add another finishing, total finishing touch, you can combine all of your layers, merge visible, and then add another lens flare, render lens flare, and get it right here on the tip, bottom tip here, bring it down quite a bit. And now I have a nice little kind of shine flare right at the ignition of the Darksaber. And I think that looks really good, actually. There we go. Now we have Din Djarin with a Darksaber in the toy pick. And we've made it ourselves. And it's pretty simple. <laughs> Also, real quick, if you wanted to use the Darksaber file that I have available in the description of the video, uh, it's real easy. All you gotta do is bring it up in Photoshop or whatever editing software you're able to bring PNGs into. Bring it over. There it is. And just Control A, copy, Control C, Control V, paste it, and there it is. And you're free to use it however you would like. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you do some dark saber toy photos, please tag me in them on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see them. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>